So I thought I'd share a little uh, device that I've made here. This is a uh, MIDI to CV um, converter. If you are a musician, a keyboardist, you know what MIDI is. MIDI is a serial uh, data transmission that comes out of keyboards, gives uh, all kinds of information, note data, velocity data, pitch wheel, just tons of stuff. Um, my particular uh, application, I'm really only interested in the note data. Um, I'm going to use this in an analog synth that I'm working on over here that is uh, in kind of a state of disrepair at the moment because I've run into a few problems. But um, I uh, got the, this thing up and working. One thing that I painfully discovered was that uh, you kind of don't want to mix your digital devices with anything that's analog like the digital audio converter or any of your gate or trigger signals um, so I kind of reprogrammed uh, this chip and, and and this circuit so that it is really just doing the um, conversion and spitting out to the ports the the MIDI uh, uh, note data and then that'll go to the DAC and uh, I, I do actually have a gate and a trigger signal here you'll see the gate working I don't have the trigger hooked up right now but that'll obviously go to my like ADSR you know circuitry um, but I just wanted to show it working because I don't know it's kind of a it's kind of a big deal like uh, it's kind of neat to see it work it's fun to uh, kind of filter out all the different MIDI stuff garbage that comes out of the out of the, out of the you know the MIDI signal so um, I'm programming it here on a PIC 16F 873A I had it on a smaller chip before and I had to do all kinds of um, uh, just kind of like hoops that I had to jump through in order to like sense what channel I was on and stuff like that and I was using I was using multiplexing it was just complicated and so I finally just broke down. I was like, you know what? I want a lot of pins and a lot of ports, and I just want room to be able to do what I want to do. And so um, this, I, I have two ports that I specifically use. One is just a test LED port, which is actually something I recommend for anybody that is doing anything with a PIC chip or really any um, microcontroller. And that is just have a small, you know, function test that just says, does, is this thing reading any code at all? Tell me this thing is reading code. Because when I first programmed this thing, I had forgot to set the configuration bits. And so when I turned it on and I didn't see this LED blink on and off twice, I knew, uh-oh, like it's not even reading the very top of my code. Um, so that's, that's an important thing. The other thing I'm doing here is this is... Uh, portends to uh, MIDI um, stuff is I have one pin that is specifically for what I call timing blips you know MIDI is a very uh, specific time sensitive kind of thing and you are going to want to in fact I can even show you what these blips look like if you look there on the, the, the sort of like blue uh, blips down there that is actually that's exactly where the data is being read, you know, and and the, and the top there is the actual serial MIDI data out. So let me turn this thing on, get it working here. You'll see that the LED will blink. So that just means, hey, it's working. It's it's read at least that you know um, subroutine. And now I'm going to go over here. This is just a um, an Oxygen Eight, uh, just a little you know MIDI um, you know keyboard. And right now, like I said, I just have it spitting out I'm actually going to go down here and just have it spitting out um, what do you call it uh, you know the the binary note data there eight bits and you know going up and down um, and then yeah you can see my uh, my gate that um, that red LED right there is my gate so anytime I'm holding down a key it's up and then, and what's cool is I, you know, it's it, you know, if I hold down one key, and then, you know, do the whole thing where I hold down another key, and then let the other key up, it, see, it changes like that. It knows 
but the gate stays high. And then when I release that other key, release, right, it knows that I'm not, not to turn the note off because I'm still holding down a key and then it releases the key. Um, and so you can see what that looks like over here. Uh, this is gonna be hard to do with one hand. This, this keyboard does do active sensing and you'll see this active sensing thing come up here, um, which happens, it spits out a, 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 you know, the active sensing thing every 300 milliseconds. So let's see if I can put this thing down for a second. Because I gotta do this really fast. So, uh, so there's like one, there's a note um, that's doing the running status. There we go. There's a nice looking note. So uh, anyway, like I said, I just wanted to show that thing working. It's just really cool when you can actually get a microprocessor to um, to read your MIDI uh, serial data like that. Um, I did it, uh, you know, obviously in uh, MP Lab X. Took about 400 lines of code, and uh, boy, let me tell you, this is if you want to learn how to code, <laughs> this is the way to do it. This was a challenge trying to get this um, thing to work. There was a lot of um, kind of little tricks I had to do along the way. Um, anyway, just uh, wanted to show that to you guys. And uh, if you have any questions, put them in the in the comments thing, and I'll uh, see if I can answer them later.